Here are the horses for race 14. The nightcap for the Illinois State Fairs program today. Number one, Fox Valley Profile, owned by Katrina Rucker of Beecher and Marty Engel of Buffalo Grove, trained by Katrina Rucker, Mike Osting in the bike. Number two, in a flash, owned by Lendl Burgess of Plainfield, trained by Jerry Hansen. The driver is Tony Morgan. Number three in Credit Cole, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, trained by Brian Penske. Dale Heitman is up. Number four, Fox Valley Michael, owned by Tanamira Farms, Limited Liability Corporation of Felton, Delaware, Irvin Miller Trains, and Brent Holland Drives. Number five, Ultimate Creation, owned by Willard Nelson of Morrison, by Michael Dockendorf of Chicago, trained by Mark Pranzen of Big Rock. Ken Holliday is the driver. Number six, Riding the Rainbow, owned by Richard Corba, and James Horvath, Jr., and by John Quigley of Crete, Illinois, and of Griffith, Indiana, trained by James Horvath, Sam Widger, and the bike. D.B. Brody, number seven, owned by Allen and Jacqueline Bowen and Charles Lennon of Mount Sterling and Monmouth, trained and driven by Allen Bowen. Number eight, El Fuerte, owned by James Jesk and WMD Racing of Crete, trained by Selden Ledford, the driver Dave McGee. And number nine, Fox Valley Chris, owned by Don Trilling of Northbrook and Howard Zimmerman of Wilmette, trained by Gary Skurlock of Mantino, Andy Miller in the bike. A trifecta race, the final race of the day, five minutes to post. Here they come for this elimination of the State Fair three-year-old Colt and Gelding pace. The top five go to the final this coming week. They're off and pacing. Ultimate Creation is first away, and Credit Cole is there toward the inside, followed by Enna Flash as they move toward the first turn. And Credit Cole moves up between horses, gets the lead by a half length. Enna Flash is there toward the inside in second. Ultimate Creation goes third around Fox Valley profile. Fox Valley Chris gets away in fifth, three lengths off the lead, moving around Fox Valley Michael, who's next toward the rail, then riding the rainbow, opening quarter in 26 and 2. DB Brody is next to last El Fuerte is the trailer. There goes Fox Valley Chris moving up on the outside to challenge Ultimate Creation for the lead. Ultimate Creation had made the top, but Fox Valley Chris, who's still parked, now takes over after three-eighths of a mile. He leads it by a length. Ultimate Creation second, a length and a half, and Credit Cole third. In a flash is fourth. Fox Valley Profile is fifth. Riding the Rainbow is parked in sixth, racing eight lengths off the lead, the half in 53 and four-fifths seconds and is followed by Fox Valley Michael, D.B. Brody, who's next to last, and El Fuerte trails, racing a dozen lengths off the leader. Into the final turn, Fox Valley Chris on top by two lengths. Ultimate Creation second, riding the rainbow, moves up third. Outside of Incredit Cole, in a flash, is in the outer flow of traffic in fifth, five lengths off the lead. Then Fox Valley profile back toward the rail. Fox Valley Chris streaks by the three-quarter on a widening three-length lead to Ultimate Creation. In a flash on the far outside, riding the rainbow between them, and then Fox Valley profile behind a wall of horses. Three-quarters and 124. Fox Valley Chris into the final eighth mile on a five-length lead. In a flash is second, and Credit Cole looks for an opening toward the rail. Fox Valley profile moves up third on the outside, but Fox Valley Chris is home free. Fox Valley profile to second. Fox Valley Chris wins it by three and a half. Fox Valley Profile was second, in a flash was third in 151 flat. Into the winner's circle, here is number nine, Fox Valley Chris. Andy Miller with his third winning drive of the day. Gary Skurlock trains this horse. Gary is originally from Newton, Illinois. He resides now in Mantino racing in Chicago year-round. Don Trilling of Northbrook and Howard Zimmerman of Wilmette own this incredible finale colt bred by Fox Valley Standard Breads. Dr. Kenneth Walker is congratulating the connections of Fox Valley Chris right now in the winner's circle. It's official, the 9-1 exacta, $15.80. We'll take a look at the trifecta payout and the rundown next. Let's talk to Gary Skurlock real quickly. He's a bit reluctant. Gary, going to ask you one quick question. This colt, we talked about the fact earlier, it seemed to take him a while to round into form, but has he even kind of caught you by surprise with how good he's been this year? Yes, he has. <laughs> what, was there any particular problem as a two-year-old that took him a while to develop? He had all kinds of accidents. We had four out of six races that had accidents in. 
Accidents in four out of six races would certainly slow the development of a colt. Gary, you've done a nice job bringing him along to you, Don Trilling and Howard Zimmerman, your son Lance and uh, Lyle, and the whole stable. Congratulations. Thank you. Gary Skurlock's the trainer. The rundown is next.